Hello and welcome back to Star Stable. We're here with Idris again because the tent's still not up. All the poles and stuff are up there, but I'm guessing we still need the cloth, which I guess this is. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but that looks like something that might go over there. Maybe? I don't know. Let's ask Idris. Let's see here. It's good that you have a horse. It is heavy work to tension the tent canvas, so we need your horsepower. Let's get started. Oh, okay. We're building. Well, that, that went fast. Now that didn't turn out quite right. I think we didn't tighten the lashing properly. Or maybe we put the canvas upside down. What do you think? You think we should tighten the ropes? You are welcome to try, as we definitely can't have it looking like this. The jester and I had better stay out of the way if you have a plan. But do I have a plan? Oh, okay. We pull on these ropes. I'm guessing. Do we? There we go. Oh, it does go up. That's one done. Come on. Yep, that's two done. Let's see. There we go. It's starting to look better. Still a bit wonky looking. Maybe this helps. Um, okay, yeah, not bad. It's a bit glitchy and weird, but not bad. Well, where am I going? <laughs> there we go, you have your tent. You were right, Mira. Now it looks much better. But what is this? There are lots of holes in the tent. You have to be kidding me. This is a disaster. It doesn't matter what caused the, these holes. Holes are holes, and we have them in our tent. We have to fix them. Can you speak with the tailor in town? He might have some patches we can use to fix the tent. Write to the tailor in Silverglade Village and ask him. Bring back the tailor if you have to. Okay. Let's go talk to the tailor. Yeah, it does have some holes. Yep. <laughs> Let's go see the tailor. Hello, tailor. We need some help. Some patches or something. Do I have any pieces of material that can be used to fix the circus tent? Yes, I have lots of patches, but maybe not in the right color. I have lots of extra pieces of cloth, and you're welcome to them. Can you sew? Excellent. Then please go ahead and start working on this pile of patches. Good luck. Take the patches to edges. Okay, let's go back. What colors do we have then? Oh, it doesn't say. Leftover fabric from the tailor that could be used to patch holes. Okay, let's go see if it works. Hello Idris, I have some fabric. Patches abound. It's very colorful, but not the colors we need. But it doesn't matter. More colors can't be a bad thing. Can you sew? Fantastic. You are so talented. A jack of all trades. Take the patches and fix the holes in the tent. I'm sorry the jester and I don't know how to sew. I could barely get the needle through the thread. Or is it the thread through the needle? Eye of the needle? Hole of the thread? Yeah, I don't think he knows how to sew. Let's see if we can fix this. One, it's two. Um, here's one. Oh, 
whoops, that's that one, one up there, one right here, there's two here, this one here, this one, and two more on this side, right? There we go. That's all done. Thirteen holes fixed. That should be all of them. Fourteen holes, you say. Aha! The entrance is a hole too. Such a little joker. Good that you didn't sew that one shut though. No, that would have been terrible. There are lots of patches left that we can use as flags. What do you think? Try and hang up a few of these in the ropes around the tent. I don't think we should let the jester anywhere near the ropes again. The flags are great and perfect for a carnival. Yes, let's hang up some... Oh, they look nice. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks so good. Yes, that one. that one. Two more. Just one more. There we go. Oh, that looks like a circus tent. Definitely. So good. Flags in bright colors. Could it be any better? There, almost done. Now all we need is the icing on the cake, which of course is the sign. I've brought out the si uh, circus sign from the container, but it was too heavy for me to put up. Can you and your horse help us put it up over the entrance? Yes, I can do that. Is it that thing over there? And put it up there, right? There we go. That's done. I think it's ready now. There! Now we look like a real circus. Oh, okay, there's a clock there. It looks really good though. Let's close that. Oh, it looks really good. Okay, we've still got some work to do here at the gardens. Um, I think we need to plant flowers for the second one over there. So let's see what kind of flowers we're planting this time. Today is a wonderful day to be alive, Mira. The moon garden is alive again after years of obscurity. I feel so lucky to have been a part of this miracle. It is so incredibly beautiful that I don't know what to do with myself. Flowers? Of course! How could I forget that? But what kind of flowers should we have now, Mera? Wait, don't say a word. I'm getting a vision. Tulips! Tulips would be perfect. Can you picture it, Mera? Visualize it, Mera. Jovic Gazette. Front page. Headline. Tulips in the Moon Garden. Nobel Prize in Everything awarded to Björn, Agneta and Mera. I don't think there is such a thing as a Nobel Prize in everything, and you wouldn't get that for a garden. <laughs> but he can dream. Quick, Mira, ride over to the Shepherd Landon with his sheep. He has the tulip bulbs we need. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm going, I'm going. Let's go get some tulips. Yes. Come on, honey. Hello, Landon. I'm looking for some tulips. Do you have some for me? Tulip bulbs. Yes, I have those. But why should I give them to you? Agneta wants them. Here, take them! Agneta, she is completely crazy. Did you know she used to work for me before? She used to think the sheep were too lazy, just bumming around when they could be working instead. 
She screamed at the sheep and tried to get them to eat the grass in straight lines so they could work as lawn mowers in Silverglade Village. I had no choice but to fire her. The sheep got so stretched out their wool fell off. Take the bulbs and ride back to Ugnetha and Bjorn. Hurry up so Ugnetha doesn't get mad at me. Oh, the poor sheeps. I don't like Ugnetha. She seems a bit, um, scary. You can't do that to poor sheepies. Look at the poor things. They're so cute. Okay, let's go back to Bjorn. Hello, Bjorn. I have the flowers. We can plant the tulips now. Fantastic, Mira. Perfect bulbs. That landon is really quite nice. It feels like we have a lot in common, he and I. Wow, I'm bursting with excitement, Mira. Now we are going to plant the tulip bulbs and then just wait for them to bloom. Here, take the bulbs and plant them over in the moon garden. Hurry, Mira, hurry. Yes, let's go plant them. You stay there. You're kind of slow. Oh, so exciting. Oh, they look like onions. Prepared with super fertilizer. Will grow before your eyes. Will they really? Let's see. Put this one in here. Will it grow before my eyes? Nope, nothing's growing. This one here. This one on the other side. One here and uh, over here. There we go. Let's go back to Bjorn. Fantastic, Mira. I don't know how I'm going to stand waiting for them to bloom. The waiting is excruciating. You need to help us repair the pipes, fertilize the soil, and get rid of the chickmunks so that the flowers can bloom in peace. The more you help us, the faster it will all go. Promise me you will come here and help us out every day, Mira. I promise. Okay. I'll work on the dailies off camera. So this week's update included a brand new race here at the winery. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do the race because as far as I know it's only for the Hanoverians and I don't have one of those yet. But I'm going to see how much of the quest I can do and see what it's all about because I'm really curious. So let's talk to Guillermo here. Hello there. I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen a happier and prettier horse than yours. What's your name? Mira? And what's the name of your beautiful horse? Honeydew. I have to say, it's just so nice to meet you. My name is Guillermo Gadea, and I'm one of the founders of the Hoy Focus Races. What? Have you not heard of Hoy? Horses of Jovic? There's nothing I love more than horses. If I was to be reborn, I'd love to come back as a wild horse in the wilderness east of Fergro. Oh, that sounds awesome. I want to do that too. The horses here on Jorvik are so special that I thought they deserved more attention. So I set up a race for each breed so they can compete in their own category against others of the same breed. Oh, that sounds interesting. Every time I come to Jorvik, I let a new breed be the focus of the race I set up. So if you see me in Jorvik, come over and ask me what which breed I'm running a focus race, uh, a ro focus race for that week. Uh, then you just have to get your friends involved and compete on who has the best racehorse of that week's special breed. That sounds interesting. Hanoverian race. Yeah, I can't do this. Mira, it's great to see that you want to take part in one of the Hoi Focus races. The breed I have chosen to focus on this week is... Drumroll, please! The Hanoverian. So, are you ready to enter the race on your Hanoverian? No, I don't have one. But thank you. 
Let's read the this thing. Hui stands for Horses of Jorvik. Our aim is to highlight all the different horse breeds here on Jorvik, so we arrange regular focus races where we select one breed at the time to compete. We organize a race for the breed we have selected, where only riders on the specific breed can enter in order to create more equality between the different breeds, and let each breed show off its own characteristics and abilities. If you want to enter one of our focus races, come and talk to me or grab a friend and start a race by writing it on the notice board here next to me. Okay, that's interesting. We'll have to check that out next time he shows up and hopefully he'll have a race for a braid that I own. Hopefully. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. Oh, look, the uh, <laughs> tulips are growing. We only just planted them like five minutes ago. That's nice. Um, yes, that's it for this week. Uh, next time, the, I hope that the next time that guy Guillermo comes over, he has a race for the Arabian, because I haven't done any training on my Arabian yet, and I want to do some. But I don't know when he's going to show up again, and what breed it's going to be. But uh, next week we'll hopefully finish the circus. I don't know if I can get enough reputation to unlock more of the garden stuff, but we'll see. I'll try. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!